so this is the uh, next video in the unix series so as of now we have completed you know um, simple commands uh, the architecture of the unix and the file system right so today we are going to go into the very very important commands which is called filters in unix filters in the sense of what filter command says what they do is they take the input from the standard input okay or probably from the file and do some processing depending on that uh, the definition inside the system and then redirect the output to the standard output or some file so this process works uh, through the redirection in pipe redirection so there are you know three uh, three types of redirection actually standard input standard output and standard error so these are the three uh, standard files you know which comes in built in, in the unix system so the redirection can be uh, done so the redirection symbol is angular bracket outside okay and there are other two more symbol of redirection inside or outside okay so so there are commands like cat command grab more you know these commands are called filters awk scd are also called filters but they also also have you know their inbuilt programming capabilities so those uh, high level or little advanced level you know uh, commands we will uh, discuss later point in, in time but currently we are you know some basic filters in unix system okay so let's first discuss the cat so cat data cat data new data so what it will do is on the all the content of the data file will go into the new data okay what is the cat's uh, cat function do get them just display the output of the data so it, instead of displaying into the terminal it will redirect the output to the new data similarly Perl, there is a command in you know, Perl command Perl scripting so Perl hyphen pi hyphen e are the options and what it will do is it will you know, replace you know uh, replace abc by def from starting to end okay so like scd you know so this is from the file names and now the redirection input output redirection so angular bracket out file direct standard output to file that's what we have discussed in the first slide second second redirection uh, double angular outside okay append standard output to file so what it does is in the new data is already created file in the data one. So what it will do is that content cat data one angular bracket double angular bracket outside and new data. So all the data one content will go will append into the new data file. Okay. And then third one is the inside angular bracket. Okay. Text and input from file. What it will do is cat. So it will display the content from the my data file in the terminal. So there is nothing redirection for output, but there is a uh, standard input. Okay. So similarly, P1, pipe P2. So as I said, the redirection happens. I mean, the filter functionality is assumed using the pipes and the redirection. So pipe connects standard output of P1 to standard input of P2. So whatever output of P1 will go into the go as an input into the p2 okay so c ls no hyphen lrt pipe wc hyphen l ls minus lrt what it will do it will display the long listing with the sorted time and then the 
that output will go and it will come up the number of records okay wc hyphen wc is the word comma so it has options l c w etc so l option will give the number of record so and there are standard error standard input standard output those redirections are also there so now direct input from file directory so those is called file descriptor so two angular bracket so that is n n angular bracket file n is 1 2 okay 0 1 2 <coughs> so zero is like we don't specify okay two is for error file and one is for output okay <coughs> and cc program this is uh, this is the c program then all the errors which is coming as a compilation of program c will go into the error underscore file so now append file descriptions are also there okay that is specified as double angular bracket outside okay initiated by n so let's go ahead and see n so there is another way of specifying the redirection n angular bracket out ampersand n merge output from file description and to file descriptor descriptor m see what is happening find name profile it will go into the results and merge the output from file descriptor into the file descriptor m so the output and the error output will go into the standard output okay error and all the error specified by 2 and the output will go into the output file merge output from the file descriptor and to file descriptor m file descriptor m is output file descriptor 2 is input uh, so descriptor 2 is error so the error generated from this process and the or the out and or or the output from the we go in, into the same file okay that is called standard output file okay similarly so the error in the output okay we'll go into the more uh, more is another command so it will accept the input from this okay whether it is error or or output okay so here document that is angular bracket double angular bracket inside as here do this is here document take standard input until next as at beginning of a line so until as is coming in the file until then the command will you know keep on accepting the standard input okay standard means the whichever input we are giving from the terminal that is called standard input so let's go go ahead and see some you know commands let's sort data what it do is in the data file the all the you know, data will be taken and sorted sort will apply on those later on get okay so what it will do is get will um, allow us to you know strip for standard input and if we were giving some input and then control c then those data will go into the data file okay similarly sort what this command will do is so the sort will accept the input from data file after sorting happens the sorted record will go into the new data file so this is the functionality of this sort command and sort here what it will do sort will accept the input from data file and then that output will go the sorted data will go into the new data file and then whatever error is coming you know using this whatever error is coming will go into the error file error file is another file okay so let's discuss this one ls 
ls all the ls uh, code will go into the grave so all the dot ss file will be searched and then sorted and go into the ss list as well as the file okay so now let's go ahead and see there is a large family of unix program that reads some input perform simple transformation on it and write some output so this is called filter this is the definition of the filter okay like grab sort wc and tell sort is sorted and then let's go ahead and see oh, the pipes what is called pipe an operator that enables the output of one command to be connected to the input of another that's what we have seen in uh, earlier commands the first command must be able to write to standard output okay the rest must be filter so so if you use the pipe so the what is the requirement is the first command the who command let's say here an example who command should be able to write into the standard output so therefore the sort command can you know take that output as an input into this okay similarly the who sort and then add hyphen so as many as you know commands we can uh, we can we can uh, you know sequentially execute through pi using pipes okay now uh, let's go ahead and see few more commands t commands so t command saves the output to, to a file as well as display it on the standard output so this is also saves or both works it does like cat command right if you redirect it it won't print into the terminal okay but t does sort data t new data pc okay so now so now cat command cat program c t program lanti okay so it will take the input from the cat programs dot c by all the input of this command cat programs will go into the t command and then that output will go into the program dot print also it display so similarly cat program dot c hyphen a program this is a option okay so now let's go ahead and see few more commands so special files dev null and dev tty so there are you know in the system unix system itself you know the file system or the operating system provides dev null and dev tty files so all the the dev tty the terminal type null is like recycle bin or you know trash in other operating system likewise we can say that dev null is the uh devnel directory is like that sort data dev tty okay tty is a special file representing the terminal for the current process okay what is the terminal for the current process there there will be some specific file to it and all the out output of sort data will go into the file okay sometimes we need to just discard the um, output of any particular command so mostly they are useful in uh, long ring wrapper script while we developing uh, you know hundreds lines or 200 lines of code in wrapper script or sometimes we need to you know the uh, trash the output of particular command so we will just go ahead and you know put dev null that's it and the output of that you know command will go into that trash like trash it won't display anywhere okay so dev null or or the null device is a special file that discards all data written to it but reports that the return operation succeeded so the log will you know print the um, line like on the you know output has been discarded okay so this is for uh, okay so display the first 10 lines had data so it's by default 10 display the first five line had hyphen 5 data okay these are some examples actually you can go ahead and try so there is a terminal which is uh, you can try go ahead and practice so that uh, link i will put into the description section or uh, what you can do is otherwise you can hook up to the you know aws uh, console in the free tier so you just go ahead and create the free tier account so that link also i'll go i will you know, provide and uh, you just you can uh, you know launch one free tier uh, free tier uh, elastic you know cloud instance from the linux machine and do try and practice okay 
So if you want to see that how to link hook up to the machine and how to create the machine, so you can go ahead and see in the AWS series tutorial. So I have an AWS tutorial playlist. So you go ahead and see the initial two or three videos in that. So that you know step, you know hands-on steps easily describes the uh, how EC2 instance creation happens and how. So why I'm saying that because you can have the terminal to practice all these commands there so freely. So just be remember, do remember that you need to create the free account. And uh, that, that is sufficient because for learning purpose, uh, the free tier account is you know sufficient. And uh, whenever you finish your work, you just remember to you know remove this uh, EC2 instance type and you know whatever resource you are going to create as part of your uh, part of your learning, you go ahead and delete. And otherwise, it may you know incur charges. Okay, so let's keep on uh, uni doing uh, continue the Unix uh, other commands. The tail command is to display the the, the you know last portion of the file you know del tell data the last 10 you know lines tell hyphen five data is giving on five lines you know display for five line to end of line you know tell plus five data the meaning is from the so it will it will you know it will remove all four four lines from any particular file and it will display from the five to end of the line okay entire file only four records will not be displayed so display line from 20 to 60 what we can do is so that is the question for you know you can just uh, try and you know provide the command into the uh, into the command section okay and uh, then there is a wc command so this is the last command we are going to discuss as part of this uh, session today. So WC displays file statistics, okay. File statistics in the sense of uh, number of records, number of words, number of, uh, what is the length of number of bytes, words and character, lines, words and character, okay. So hyphen L is number of lines, W is number of words, hyphen C is number of characters, okay. So this is also uh, this is also one of the you know uh, two other commands okay so that you have to go and you know see uh, I mean you have to give the answer for that so with that uh, so let's conclude this session so the rest uh, you know we'll continue tomorrow thank you so much.